So let's move on to GPM. So this will allow me to actually copy and paste stuff within the terminal screen, which will be useful for when we get the browser up and running. So for now, let's tidy up wget. and use it to download uh, copy, oh I can't copy link address can I? I have to type it in so https and dot linux from scratch dot org forward slash blfs forward slash gpm slash gpm dash one dot two oh dot seven dot tar dot bz two and the other one I've got to do is www dot linux from scratch dot org full slash patches full slash blfs full slash eleven dot zero full slash gpm dash one dot two oh dot seven dash consolidated dash one dot patch right so in the screen now you can see that it can't verify the issuer of the certificate for this http connection but it does suggest that we add in no check certificate so let's do that and just trust that we're connected to something uh, that's not untoward. Uh, if you are worried about this, then the best thing to do is to boot into a live CD or live USB and download these packages through that because that will be using a certificated secure connection um, rather than doing it in Linux or Scratch as I am doing. But I'm doing this to, sh to prove that it can be done and we don't need to rely on anything else trying to rely on the minimum possible so you can see GPM's downloaded and the patch is downloaded so that's good and there they are there so let's get the instructions back and extract the package uh, dot tar and change into it now the first thing we've got is to enable the use of GPM you need it uh, mouse interface enabled in the kernel and the chances are we've got it enabled because we built from default config so I'm going to go to another terminal alt f3 I've gone to now log in again change the sources uh, Linux uh, I could go into menu config and look for this option but the, nicely they've given us the actual config symbol the name of the symbol so all we need to do is look for that so uh, in fact we don't need to, need to do this to be quite honest uh, I can go back and do cat uh, sorry Z cat if uh, uh, yes uh, cat slash boot and we can look at our well no let's look at the kernel one actually the actual one we built from sources Linux forward slash dot config grep and we're looking for uh, let's look for mouse dev okay it's not set so we do need to go in there rebuild the kernel and um, redeploy it to enable it so that's a bit unfortunate I thought that was enabled by default uh, so that surprised me so we will have to go back to another terminal, log in, cd sources, linux, make menu config, and we just go down to device drivers, input device support, there it is there, and look for the mouse interface, yes it isn't set. Uh, so I'm just going to enable that, force that in as part of the kernel, 
rather than a module. It's up to you whether you want to build it as a module or not. Um, so that should be sufficient. Let's quit. Run. Make. I'll just check whether this uses all cores. I think it picks up. It should all come out of there. I'm pretty sure that make uses uh, the make flags because it's targeted for make. Let me check. It seems to have got stuck there for some reason. No, it is doing something. It seems to be a little bit on the slow side for some reason. I'm not sure why, but they are. That was it. it didn't really get up and go so maybe it's doing a lot of checking rather than a lot of compiling Okay, that's done. So you can notice straight away that the version number, if you like, has gone to, or revision number has gone to number three. Uh, again, when it reboots, we should check that to ensure that uh, it is the new kernel that we've just been built that has been activated. So I'm going to see, I'm going to do Control R and see if I've still got the. Oh, it doesn't look like I have that copy copy command I used before unfortunately it hasn't saved it so I'll have to do this again by hand so cp arch x86 underscore 64 boot bz image copy to the boot vm liners dash 2 and cp uh, system dot map boot System.map dash two and cp.config boot config dash two. So that's all I need to do. So I'll do control D to come out of that. Go back to my first terminal. Uh, if I rerun this command, it should say that it's set now because uh, I've changed the config file and I've rebuilt the kernel. So I'll do control D and a reboot to activate that okay I've got the chime got the menu up grub menu and it's booting So that's in, let's log in, you name minus A, oops, and you can see we've got number three, and even just checking with the time, it's it's the newer kernel, so that's good. So let's go back to sources, BLFS, change into GPM, and we can start building it, and when it's built, we can activate it straight away, and it'll work because the kernel's sitting there waiting. For that to be used. So patch minus capital N P one minus I dot dot GPM consolidated patch
auto gen. Okay, and now configure uh, prefix equals forward slash USR sysconf the equals four slash etc. So like I can say this is part you've really got to be sure you're typing incorrectly. Um, else things we put or be looking in the wrong place. Has done. Let's build that. Okay, that's done. So we can move down to installing it at this point here now. So make install. There's no test suite. And now we've got all this typing to do. So it's critical again to get this um, typed in correctly. So I'm using tab wherever I can, for example, just then. So minus minus the file equals forward slash user share info the so it looks like I've got to type that in and I'll put this split this over as it is on the screen just so I can continue seeing it, it doesn't go behind this uh, browser window forward slash user share info gpm dot info just check that for press enter. That looks okay. Then rm minus fv full slash user lib full slash lib gpm dot a. So that's a static file by the looks of it, that's why it's being deleted. So be careful with that one, don't delete anything else. Uh, ln minus s f v lib gpm dot so dot two dot one dot zero oops, dot zero to user lib lib gpm dot so. Check that and then minus SFE lib gpm dot so dot two one o user lib gpm dot so then install minus v minus m six four four conf forward slash gpm root conf that goes into etc so that's that bit Install minus V minus M seven five five minus D full slash user share doc GPM okay GP M dash one dot two O dot seven forward slash support V seven five five minus the user share doc gpm dash one dot two o dot seven. Just click behind it, check that's correct. Yep. Then install. Right, I'll recall that previous command because it looks like part of it is reused. 
So install minus V minus M six four four. So it's this bit here. Doc full slash support full slash star. And that's going into that directory that we just created. So that should be the same because I've just recalled the command to get that back. That looks okay. And then again, I'm going to recall this command because we're installing similar permissions from the dock, but something else is not into support this time. It's just into the top level GPM dock directory. Just check that last bit. User share doc gpm one two dot seven. Yep. And what I want to do to copy in there is doc forward slash curly bracket faq comma hack underscore gpm comma read me star and close curly bracket. Space out fact hack GPM and read me star. Yep, that looks okay. So that's installed. Right, so now we need a boot script installed. So we need to go back to this tab here, boot scripts. I'm going to go back up to the BLFS directory. And now, because I've got wget, I can actually fetch this. Um, in fact, I'll recall this the other wget command there. Yes, it is. Because it looks like it's a similar. Location. Just got to get rid of all this GPM stuff, which you can't see at the moment because it's behind. There it is. So you can see this first part is the same location it's coming from. It's just the name of the script. So blfs dash boot scripts forward slash blfs dash boot scripts dash two oh two one oh eight two six dot tar dot xz so I'll just take a look at that make sure that makes sense BLFS dash boot scripts BLFS dash boot scripts dash twenty twenty one oh eight two six dot tar dot xz right again it can't validate it so we just need to add in this no check certificate and now that's downloading OK. So I can extract that now. And um, you'll find that I won't delete this because there'll be other boot scripts that will be installing. So it seems pretty pointless just to keep on deleting it, extracting it, deleting it as we need. So I'll just um, leave that there all the time. So I can get rid of this tab now because there's no nothing else to do with this one. Go back to GPM and change into the BLFS boot scripts directory and run this make install gpm command and there you can see it's installed several boot scripts so it's got a configuration file here um, and generally uh, this should work what we've got here uh, examples. Uh, if you're using a computer, a PC with a PS AUX uh, connection for the mouse, then PS AUX is probably more accurate. Although I believe ultimately IMPS2 and PS AUX get down to the same thing. So, uh, sorry, not PS AUX, this dev input mice. Um, and there's a command there for finding values that will be accepted if you've got some other obscure mouse connection. For example, bus, bus mouse was another one I seem to remember from years and years ago. So let's edit this by hand. 
So etc sysconfig, so it's called mouse, nice and simple. I for insert, so hash begin slash etc sysconfig mouse m device equals as I say the defaults that are there are should work most of the time. If not you'd have to as I say read the either run this command or read the documentation to find out what's more appropriate for your mouse. So dev input slash mice uh, which may also incidentally mean more uh, changes to the kernel protocol equals quotes imps2 and gpm opts equals an empty string and end slash etc sysconfig mouse and that's it So it doesn't actually tell us there, but we can start this straight away because we've installed boot scripts. In fact, it mentions it here, this boot script here. In fact, there is an init.d directory sim linked to this location. So we don't need to type the full location. We could just type in init.d and we should find there's a g oops, forward slash. Should find there's a GPM there and we just type start and it says it's activated it there's nothing apparent there but if I move the mouse around you can now see I've got a cursor moving around and I can click and highlight parts and basically this works similar to a basic mouse in GUI where you can for example oops, double click to highlight a word or part of a word depending on yeah so it's selected all of that and center click will paste what was highlighted or you can click and hold the left mouse button to highlight what you need and again center click to paste um, yeah another thing that I've just done there you can left click so it's click and release one position right click and release and it will highlight everything in between those two points and again center click to paste that I better do control C before I do any damage there actually. So that's all working. Let's just check if the this would need to be rebuilt. If I get the right mouse now. In the future, no, there's nothing, no dependencies or anything. So I'm going to cross that off as completed. And that's in chapter 12. GPM. And so that means I can close that tab down.